Since the 50s, they focus ex almost exclusively on patient care and anything involving patient safety, so the entire patient experience. More recently, they have decided to focus a lot more on company culture, because what they believe, rightfully so, I think, mm -hmm. yeah. is that um, if your patient experience and patient care is ingrained in your company culture, that's the only way it's truly going to be successful. So they spent a lot more time focusing on that. So you probably saw the auditor going around. A few areas she went to specifically were enrollments, billing, fulfillment, spent a lot of time in clinical. She went to, um, spoke with Jill in compliance, and she spent a lot of time with HR on our job descriptions and sort of our training efforts. And then she spent a little bit of time at the end with leadership and understanding our data, our analytics, and how we use data to um, improve patient care. So, a few folks I would, love, I would love to recognize, and when I um, call your name, uh, please come up, kind of stand around, we'll hold the, in the interest of time, we'll hold the applause um, till the end, but a few folks. So first is Andres. Come on up. All right. <laughs> the whole applause thing, not, not happening. So, <laughs> Andres, um, Andres kind of managed the whole thing. He was the offensive coordinator on this, and he did a phenomenal job. He has never done a joint commission accreditation. No one here has. So everyone, this is the first check mark. But I, I, I laid down the gauntlet for Andres, and I said, I really want this by the end of the year. I'm making it a quarterly rock. And we got it done, so that's great news. Um, Regina Rossano is, is obviously critical in this. She heads up clinical. She did a tremendous amount of preparatory work um, for this. She is on vacation this week, so she's not here, but we will make sure that we uh, show her the video. Uh, Wayne, where's Wayne? Wayne Bowen, come on up here, Wayne. Wayne, Wayne um, was on, uh, she spent a lot of time with Wayne on training and our documentation of training. The surveyor literally handed Wayne a blue star. <laughs> she was so happy with the documentation and the training of the documentation, which is fantastic. Jody, where's Jody? Jody Baldison, come on up. Um, there was, uh, uh, the surveyor spent a lot of time with um, HR understanding our job descriptions, because they feel that if your job description leads down to your training. And Danielle, where's Danielle? Danielle's not here today. Um, HR spent over an hour sort of under fire with the surveyor um, about job descriptions and everything related to job descriptions. And Danielle did a great job in our preparation, chasing everyone down who didn't sign them. And if that was you, you know who you are, <laughs> whoever that was. But we got it done in time. Um, and then Linda, thank you Linda for all the logistics, all the support that we needed to make sure that this, that this worked um, as flawlessly as, as it did work. Okay, then there was a team of people who were serving. I mean, literally, sit here, I'm gonna talk to you for an hour about how you do your job. So we're gonna go, and in my opinion, I'd rather be on the preparation team than the mm -hmm. under fire team. But um, George, where's George? George Coos, George Coos, come on up. George gave the survey their tour, spent the uh, longest tour I've ever seen, <laughs> at least an hour, uh, walking around, talking a lot about our corporate culture, a lot about um, the company, and where we've been and where we are and where we're going. Mendy, Mendy Decker, where's Mendy? Mendy, come on up. Mendy spent a good bit of time with the reviewer on our overview of billing and collections. She spent about an hour and a half-ish in billing and collections and Mendy was sort of pinging around on that. Jill, where's Jill? Jill Pive is off this week. Jill did a great job with compliance. She handles all of our compliance, all of our licenses, all of our accreditations and she had everything in order. There was one small issue that we didn't even know about and Jill was able to solve that almost in real time so it did not end up in a risk guide. Jennifer Warren, where's Jennifer? She's still working? <laughs> Can't get too mad about that. Jennifer was another person who literally got chosen at random by the surveyor. Hey, I wanna see how an enrollment does and she walked through an enrollment and I mean, I don't even like people I know looking over my shoulder when I'm working so imagine doing it with, with someone you've never met. Todd, where's Todd Fletcher? Not today. <laughs> Todd, Todd spent, um, the reviewer spent about two plus, almost three hours in fulfillment. Um, going through, I mean, everything. Everything related to the devices, patient safety, cleanliness, disinfecting, all that stuff. And Todd sort of managed the overview of that, did a great job. Shelby Holmes. Hey, we got one. <laughs> Shelby, come on up. 
Shelby was also chosen by the reviewer, and she had to walk through the disinfecting and cleaning processes of one of our devices. And we, we disinfect hundreds of devices a day, so she did a great job. <coughs> Torrance Brown. Torrance, come on up, man. Um, surveyor was asking Torrance a lot of questions and asked him to walk through how we process a phone and a pendant through our system. And he did a great job as well. Lisa Fletcher. Out today. Out today as well. <laughs> Todd and Lisa, oh, all right. Uh, she walked through all the steps of kitting and the QA related kitting and how we make sure that we get a device to a patient at the right time every time. Marisol. She's working second shift. All right, Marisol will be here later today. She walked through um, everything related from, I mean, literally almost time began to how we process ECG. So when ECG hits our door all the way through to how we get it to report, reviewers spent a lot of time in clinical, a lot of time with Marisol, a lot of time with Regina. And then Mike McLean. I know Mike's here, I saw him. Hey, Mike, come on up, all right. So Mike, uh, who's not been here very long, um, had to talk to the reviewer about our emergency action plan and about our facilities, facilities maintenance, the management of the facilities, remember, Joint Commission started off in hospitals, so they spend a tremendous amount of time on sort of your structure, your facilities, how you get out in the case of emergencies and things like that. And Mike did a tremendous job um, there, especially for being brand new. So this is the team of folks who were under fire during the survey, so we can all give them a great round of applause. <laughs> Getting Joint Commission accreditation is a huge team effort. Maury Wilson. <laughs> I'm sorry, Maury, you were I, on my list. I forgot. No, you. I, I wasn't. <laughs> Didn't forget it. I just can't read. So Maury wanted to get interviewed. Um, <laughs> she would love to be interviewed by the interviewer, but she didn't. They focused a lot more on the other side of clinical than they did on QA. But Maury did a tremendous job in preparation, helping us get ready for everything, get all of our documentation ready, and focusing on our um, on our QA procedures. So this is the full team. Of <laughs> This was absolutely a team effort by all stretches of the imagination. If everyone's departments wasn't humming, it wouldn't have worked. We picked random people. They happened to be up here, but it could have been anybody. And I have full faith that everyone would have done just as great a job as the folks up here did. So for the folks who were chosen, you do get a little bit of luck. We have a $200 spot bonus for everybody. Got you guys to win. Sorry. Go. Thank you. I was kidding. You don't have to be present to win if they're not. <laughs> we will. Uh, we will follow up with them. So thanks, everybody. We got the biggest, most ridiculous. Since we're, obviously we focused on patient care, the most ridiculously calorie-filled donuts we could possibly find. There you go. Some of these have bacon on them. I think there's Fruit Loops on some. So enjoy. Thanks, everyone. This is a great day for us. Great celebration for us. We've been working on this, thinking about this for years. So it's awesome. Thanks, everyone. Thank you.